Section two of the ASE A8 task list is where you find ignition systems and on the car we're going to do some cylinder balance testing which will give us an idea if there's a misfire and if so which cylinder it is and that oftentimes goes hand in hand with ignition diagnosis. Now if you do not have a scan tool that can accommodate this uh, procedure of cylinder balance testing you're going to have to either disconnect an injector one at a time to kill uh, the power, take the fuel away in this case from the, from the vehicle one cylinder at a time and watch for an RPM drop. If that cylinder doesn't have fuel or spark, it shouldn't contribute to the power of the turning the crankshaft and the RPM should slow down. Give the power back via spark or injector and the, and the, uh, the engine speeds back up to its normal idle speed. In some cases, the MacGyver approach, if you will, to cylinder balance testing, if you couldn't get to the injectors, let's say I didn't have a scan tool that could bidirectionally communicate and kill the injectors on a sequential fuel injected engine which has an individual ECM driver circuit in the computer, the PCM, to control each, each uh, injector, I could kill the cylinders ignition wise. Now if the spark plugs outputs, the, the ignition coil tower outputs on this DIS, distributorless ignition system, were further apart from each other I could possibly take a piece of vacuum hose about an inch long, this is an old trick and most of you know about this, and the vacuum hose having black color, something called carbon black in it to make it black, like a tire is black, that carbon in carbon black is a conductor and it allows the electricity of the spark to go right through it. So what you would do is you would unplug a spark plug boot, put the vacuum hose in the opening of the coil tower and then lay the spark plug wire right on top of that hose and kind of keep it up about that high and you would have a little bit of that hose showing and you take a test light and hook one end to ground just a plain old test light with an incandescent bulb a normal standard bulb inside of it the old-fashioned test light one side the chassis ground and the other side as the engine runs you get near that spark plug wire with the little piece of uh, black vacuum hose between the wire and the coil output and you just get near it. You don't even have to pierce it, but get near that hose and the spark will jump. That was conducting through the hose will jump a little bit to your, your test light terminal. It won't shock you and it will go right to ground and kill the spark from that cylinder. That's an old MacGyver power balance test that most techs are aware of. Now, in this case, this one coil, this coil, this coil, the three coils for these companion cylinders are a little too close to each other to do that. What would end up happening is the spark would jump from one to the other. Well, fortunately, our scan tool can do the task of taking the fuel away. The result is the same. The engine should slow down if that cylinder was contributing power. So we're going to take the fuel away one cylinder at a time and watch the contribution or lack of contribution when that cylinder has its power cut off. So let's go ahead and start the engine and run our scan tool. Now I find this on this Tech 2 scan tool under fuel systems and I go to cylinder power balance and it tells you to set the parking brake and so forth. Air conditioning should be off. If the air conditioning's on, it could be cycling off and on with a cycling clutch system, and that would make the RPMs a little less stable for this test. So now we're going to select which cylinder we want to kill. It defaults to number one, the first off, and the PID for RPMs, along with the bar graph, is highlighted on top there. And it also shows if we have a misfire detected through OBD2 for individual cylinders as well. If there's a code or at least some data that indicates we're having a misfire. So I'm going to go ahead and say disable number one cylinder which is highlighted right up here. I disable it and it slows down and we see the RPMs back off from 900 to about 870 or so. Hit exit. You're using your ears and you're watching the RPM change on the bar graph as well as the digital display. Now let's move over to select another injector. We're killing injectors this time while the engine runs to see if the cylinder that you're taking the fuel away was contributing when it was running because if it was the engine should slow down once again. So we'll go ahead and disable number two 
and you hear the engine slow down and we bog down to about 800, 850. We're definitely making an impact on the engine when we take that cylinder's fuel away. That's a simple power balance test. You'll run into questions like that on A8, like technician A says for a misfire, run a cylinder balance test to determine which cylinder it is, and technician B says something completely garbage, and so technician A, of course, has the right answer. That's in a nutshell, cylinder balance testing. Make sure you're comfortable with it before you get in that test ASE A8.